In this lesson, we're going to take a look at working with lists, ordered, unordered, and definition lists. Over in your Files panel in your Chapter 4 folder, find lists.html. So in this file, we have a few different type of lists. So what benefits are there for members? What does it take to become a member? And some definitions. So I will scroll here so I can see the first set. As I take a look at the items that I have listed here that I want to become an unordered list, I notice that there is a paragraph return after each one. And how I know that is that I see a format down here in my property inspector. I see my P tag over in my tag selector. So when you're making a list, make sure that you just put your enter or return key after each list item before we can make it an actual list. So I will highlight those first things here. And in my property inspector, I'm going to click this little button right here that is my unordered list. And now those items are my unordered list. Now there's in HTML, there's one other thing that we can do here. Remember with CSS, I can style this however the heck that I would like. If one of these items is selected, so it doesn't matter whether it's the first or the last of my items here, I'm going to go ahead and click on list item in my property inspector. And I can choose what type of list this is going to be. Is it going to be a bulleted list? Is it going to be a numbered list? Is it going to be a directory or a menu list? And in my style, I can say whether it's going to be a bullet or a square. Now my start count, my new style, all of this is grayed out because this is an unordered list and those are my only choices. If I click OK, now I have a little square instead of a bullet. So if I scroll down just a little bit more, I see that I've got another list here. Now this list, we're going to make into an ordered list. So if I click the next button over in my property inspector, I see that I have numbers now. Now this works exactly the same way, meaning that if I put my cursor in either the top one or the bottom one, I can get to my list items. And in this case, I've got a style. So how do I want these? Do I want it to be a number? Do I want it to be a Roman numeral? Is it steps? Is it maybe just an alphabet small? And I can say where it's going to start at. So if I have this here, and then maybe later on, I want to continue the same sort of listing, but not in the same space, then I can start my count a little bit later on. So I'm going to just change that to alphabet small and click OK. And now I have A, B, C, D as my, what does it take to become a member? The last kind of list we're going to take a look at is our definitions list. This is really very simple. So I'm going to highlight both of my little areas here. So the definition and the explanation for that definition. Now you'll notice that in my property inspector, I don't have anything for this. So I'm going to go up to my insert menu, my HTML, my text objects, and this is my definition list and it's going to give me my definition and the term. All of these things can also be styled with CSS, and we'll take a look at that later.